Farm for Profit Podcast. Take a listen, have a blast. Farm for Profit Podcast. Learn about farming while having a laugh. Farm for Profit Podcast. And listeners, welcome back to the Farm for Profit Podcast. You got Tanner here ready to have a little bit of fun on a Farm for Fun show. I'm also here. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, Corey's here, (laughs) David's here. And a couple of guests. Feel like you're important, I guess. You can announce yourself. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't, so I don't know what you do. You yelled at me the last (laughs) time I announced who you were. (laughs) You're like, oh, I don't get to say my own name? You used to, and then all of a sudden you started doing it. Yeah, because you sucked at it. All right, we got some cool guests on. Let's let's get me some music so I can get them introduced because we got a little window here. We don't want to keep them too long. What's the window? I don't know. It's Friday afternoon. It's Friday. They, got, they got shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> right? All right, here we go. Today on the Farm for Fun show, we're back in studio, and we are yet again with a couple of Canadians. Should we just start calling this Farm for Ca- Canadians? Farm for, <laughs> Canadian? for Canadian? Canadian? I don't know. Farm, farm for oh, Fun hey. with Canadians. Today, we have two ladies that have busted onto the social media scene in the last year with a fun and bizarre shtick. That's what that says? Shtick. That, that says shtick. That's a big shtick. It's six inches. <laughs> it's two hairdressers with little to no background in ag decided to start their farming in sheep together. And they have let their hilarious personalities and potty humor guide the way. In their short time on social media, they have racked up over 16,000 followers on Instagram and over 52,000 on TikTok. Please welcome from Oh Canada. Alberta, Canada, that is. Kayla and Shannon from Oh Sheep Shit. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What an introduction. I've never had a cooler introduction in my life. What do you mean? You're on TV. You've never had an introduction like that? that? I know. You know what? I was on TV for such a short amount of time that nobody really even got much of an introduction to me, to be honest. Oh, my gosh. So, yes. Dave had not followed you guys until today. He's like, "What? Who is? Who's sheep who's, shit?" Who's sheep and I showed it to your your. So we watched a couple, and I'm like, "This is freaking." Watched hilarious. a couple. Hilarious. All he's done is scroll your stuff <laughs> since yeah. an hour ago. <laughs> oh, so I've been following it for a while, and like you sent it to me. Yeah, I sent it to you. The first one was of you guys walking through like stomping turds or whatever, yeah. you know, like, and I'm like, "What is this? This is hilarious." <laughs> So we've got yeah, to take it back. that's kind of the one that, like, because we hadn't really been doing a whole lot of TikTok. We were trying to mostly make it work on Instagram. And then we launched that, like, oh, or we're sheep farmers one. And it just kind of went nuts. And we just ended up getting a whole bunch of followers off of that. And Kayla was so concerned because she actually did it first. Like, she was saying all of the things. And, of course, like, Kayla's, Kayla's pretty, like, not not that disgusting right it's, so <laughs> i wrote all of these lines for her to say and i was like these are the things that you need to say and she's like well i don't want think people to think that i actually do these things and i was like kayla nobody thinks that you smoke meth you have all your teeth you're fine <laughs> and, and then but then i have to say we started getting all kinds of messages being like hey if you're into that like, I, people actually I, thought I smoked crystal yeah. meth in the sheep barn, and I was like, I can't say these anymore. She had to block her dad right after that. Her dad got blocked. <laughs> because so he was offering her, offering her meth? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she was so concerned. And then, so when we were going to do another one, she, she was like, no. <laughs> no. I'm not saying any of those things, so you can go. Which kind of was fine anyway, because... That's the one that went really, or did really well, and I said even more disgusting things. So, yeah, it worked out. But it was, it, we did not think that those were going to blow up, so it's kind of funny that we were, like, working so hard before that, trying to get, you know, a reel to do well, and that's the one that did it. <laughs> well, I think we've said that forever. Yep. The ones that you put the most effort into Never do. fall flat on their face. And then yeah. you just whip something together like we're going to do later. And we've probably already put too much effort into it. Oh, yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. When you think too much about it, yeah. for sure. You've thought way too much about it. Already. Already. It's, yeah. yeah. It's quit we thinking. Just, we planned on making one this afternoon, and that's too much thought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we got it. So this is a Farm for Fun show, and we like to learn about the guests. And, like, you guys have a, an amazing story besides just social media. So let's wind it all the way back. Like, you guys aren't from ag, right? From what I read. 
No. No. We both. Um, I mean, Kayla kind of grew up on, like, a little bit of, like, a, like a hobby, hobby farm. farm. Nothing crazy. Um, I grew up on an acreage a little bit in the city, so neither of us had, like, an extensive background in agriculture at all. And, uh, but the, who, who I married, my husband, he grew up on a beef farm, so he wanted to get cattle. We have, you know, all of our land now. I kind of married into that, and I thought, well, if we're going to have all of these land. I think I want to get sheep. And then because I drag her into absolutely everything, I drug her into it with me. And that's kind of how it started. But yeah, yeah we're actually hairdressers by trade. So still, yeah, hair and makeup. I yeah. do hair and we actually, we did some grads this morning. So yeah. And Kayla does makeup. She's a makeup artist, but yeah. So we are still do it. I have a salon in my basement. <laughs> Should you call yourself a stylist or a cosmetologist or? You know, sometimes I slip into like the old, cause I like, or I'm not barber. young, but like the, the ladies nowadays like to be referred to as a hairstylist or a stylist, but I often go back to just saying hairdresser, but mm. you know, modern, <laughs> modern day stylists don't like they don't that like term. <laughs> no. So Kayla, did you marry into a farm as well? No, not at all. My husband has zero egg background. He grew up on an acreage. They had a dog. That's the extent <laughs> of his knowledge. So when I drag him out to the farm to help us sometimes, he's like, what is happening? Like, what? <laughs> he likes it. He does, he does enjoy body. Yeah. yeah, he likes just doing yeah. work. But I he's think. never, yeah. like, he's never been into, I, do, I grew up doing 4-H too. So okay. like, I had, like, a little bit of... I wouldn't say knowledge because my dad dealt with most of it, but, um, yeah, we were both in 4-H and stuff yeah. growing up. Like we both did 4-H and had steers in 4-H. So that's whatnot. a great testament. So, so are you lifelong friends then? Were you in 4-H together? Yeah. <laughs> so funny enough, she grew up with my sister and was my sister's best friend all through high school. And I was the little sister. Uh-huh. And then we married best friends. So our husbands grew up together and were best friends. And then... Yeah, it sounds a little almost oh. incestual. <laughs> almost, but it's not. Like, it's just, it's very, yeah. I don't know. We just all kind of grew up to each other. Like, we're from really small communities, so it's just, yeah. So it is incestual. <laughs> is it? Yeah. That's the second time this, today that I heard this word, yes. So is your sister, are you still friends with her, her sister? Oh, yeah, Kat. I'll be friends with her forever. I'm very much a part of their family. Like, I used to give their mom's mother, their mom's, Mother's Day presents and like always invited over for holiday meals and stuff. Like it's just, yeah, I've just always been around. I call her mom, mom. So yeah. Yeah. Very cool. How far do you live apart now? Cause I mean, obviously you guys both have to do chores. You can't be too far. Yeah. yeah. Eight minutes. Awesome. Eight minutes. Yeah. yeah. Cause well, especially we're lambing right now. So I make Kayla get up in the middle of the night and do a night check. <laughs> Even. <laughs> You don't have the cameras in there to watch them or anything like that? <sighs> we both are like, yeah, oh, sorry. We're like, no. I mean, there's not a good Wi-Fi connection over there because uh, the I'm sure that we could, but my husband would have to care about it, which he doesn't. So, uh, <laughs> so it's pro- <laughs> it just hasn't gone done. But I think if we ever did have kind of, you know, a lot more than we do right now. But, I mean, this year we're only lambing out, like, 32 ewes, so it's not – it's not that bit of a deal. It's just a small window, but yeah, if we ever if we ever grow, which we hope to, then then we'll you know invest in some cameras. And <laughs> well, you can get them for free. I was just gonna say, TikTok shop. I can see this already. There's a sponsorship in order. Yeah. And then, you, <laughs> then you can have. We don't know a, how to take advantage of all of that stuff. A lamp We've actually cam. Just started getting really cool offers. So. <laughs> I was just thinking, like the spoof of like. You'd be like, uh, Kayla, what are you doing in the barn? You're not supposed to be doing that. Like, <laughs> like, like blurred out or something. <laughs> so, what, what did you call it? You call it out. potty comedy? Potty, potty humor. humor. Potty humor. So I'd call it like tongue in cheek. Like, so you guys are both, uh, hairdressers. So like some people are like, I got to be politically correct on, on socials and, and on yours you are like, this is hilarious. Is that like something all hairdressers kind of talk about <laughs> behind the scenes? I doubt it. No, I, I feel it. like. 
I feel like we're in our own little group. Yeah, and that said, like, Kayla is often very embarrassed by... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so is Corey. <laughs> There's some, there are some things that I'm like, my father does not need to see this. So, but we blocked the people that I'm concerned about now. So, yeah, yeah after we blocked it. them, I was like, I'm fine. <laughs> we all have kids. All of so his... sometimes we're just like, well, did we push that too far? Like, we do have children that have to grow up in the community, <laughs> you know, but... That's fine. At least you don't have an OnlyFans account. <laughs> oh, well, well, we've been asked. Yeah, well, we've been asked often. You I'm know, sure. it's funny, too, because, even, I mean, people put the wildest stuff in our DMs, too. Like, we have an 86% male following. Oh, yeah. And yeah, so we crazy. get we get some wild, D, like, DMs. People asking us for some crazy stuff. And I'll be honest, when they're, when they're given specific dollar signs, it's very <laughs> difficult. Some guy messaged us and said... I will pay you guys uh, $3,000 American, which is great. a, a lot, a lot like more. Yeah. Than <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so he's just like, I'll give you $3,000 US if you suck each other's toes <laughs> and send me a video of that. And I was reading this off to Kayla, and then I was gagging. At the same time, <laughs> I basically was just like, well, whip them out. And she was going, never, never. I would off. never do that. And I'm like, Kayla, it's $3,000 American. Think of the things that we How much do, do those Martin cameras like, cost? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, sit, I'm sitting there going, at least do half of it. If she didn't want to do it, you could do the half and split it right. But she said to me, she said, you can lick my toes. <laughs> and I'm like, and you still want half of that? You want the 50? And she's just like, well, I still want the $1,500. I'm like, if I'm the only one sucking toes here, I'm taking at least 2500 bucks. But anyways, we I don't think I don't offer. think you're we wrong. Pass up the offer. Yeah, Kayla wouldn't do it. I mean, have you guys ever thought of like I, I hear people wanting feet pics and all that. Like, has that ever like ever crossed your mind? Like, there's a lot of other things I would pay money for, but not that. <laughs> yeah, we get a ton it. of asks for feet pics. The problem is, you know what? Like morally, again, I just wouldn't even give a shit. Like they're my feet, and they, I don't find them like a sexual part of me so it really doesn't bother me but you're giving your personal information to like these strangers to send you that money and if i'm being honest that's the only thing that stops me from <laughs> doing that because sometimes we'll have to it's just set like you up man i could use a hundred bucks in my account yeah, think right. of all the fees we could buy if you right? guys could just send set a venmo to farm for profit an offshore and account. then they're our agent <laughs> and then they, yeah, yes. if we yeah, take a cut there we go because <laughs> especially in canada like we don't have venmo Right. Oh, really? So you have to, like, get an e-transfer or something. Mm. Well, you, yeah, have Frickin Venmo Trudeau. us, and then I'll put it in a check. We'll <sighs> mail the check. <laughs> yeah, right? Take 15%. No, well, yes. <laughs> you'll, you'll be our feet pimp. Feet yeah, pimp. Feet <laughs> pimp. <laughs> <laughs> New we, title for Tanner. Uh, we already have F, F4P as an abbreviation. It just feet for pay. Feet, feet, feet. <laughs> yeah, feet for profit. Feet for profit. There we yes. go. That'll be your new swing off. There yes, we need a t-shirt. Yeah, we can start selling wool, fleece for, po- fleece for profit, yes. all that. Yeah, it can all come to us. Uh, we're not going to uh, – yeah, I still want to know what – Shows up in those DMs, but I don't think we're going to put them in this episode. <laughs> it's a whole different show. You'll have to get. Do they have PO boxes in Canada? Like, like at the. Yeah. Okay, so you'd have to do that, so you don't give your address out to these people. Like, just send it. Yeah, we don't even like them knowing our town. But yeah. then, of course, I was on that TV show, and they said, you know, Shannon from Warburg, and then everybody found out that we were from Warburg. But we were trying to even avoid people knowing that for the longest time because we do get a lot of weird. Weird people. Has, it, has <laughs> anyone Which, showed up yet? No. No. That's no. Cool. We are sometimes worried that people will show up to the farm or something. We actually, like, we get local men asking to buy our sheep. lambs and, and our like, sheep from no. us all the time. And we're... We're just like, no. <laughs> but sounds like I'm going to get murdered, so I don't want to do that. <laughs> no. Do you see Justin uh, Nunley, Danger Nunley? Yeah. He made a post the other day because people were randomly showing up at his house. And yeah. he said, I hated to make this post, but I'm going to make it. Like, you need to not show up to my house. Millennial Farmer has a sign at the end of the driveway that says, this is a working farm operation. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching all of my videos. But we cannot afford, for liability, liability. reasons... Having people show up unannounced. Yeah. Because you will yeah. be shot. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <you laughs> sh- that's some big letters, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our dog. <laughs> I mean, we we do have a guard guardian dog over there, and he most definitely rips somebody's face off. I, I do actually, actually yeah, and I yeah. say it a lot on our stories. I'm always like, our our guardian dog will rip your face off, so nobody can ever come. And I try to make a point of how mean sure. he is. Yeah. Just so what uh, what show were you on? I don't know what show you were on. It's a Canadian show. It's a Canadian um, a reality show. So it's called Canada's Ultimate Challenge. I would say that so it's, it's like... So it's you just like going to Timmy Ho's all the time? And <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, tries it. No, it was, it's like they made Canada into a big ob- obstacle course and we all just kind of competed on teams. Kayla and I try to get on, so we have like a Canadian Amazing Race. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, here, and so Katie, Kay- Kayla and I tried to get on the Amazing Race all the time and we were almost you know, pushing to be successful on that one year. And then, so they kind of knew me from that. And then they asked me if I wanted to apply for the show. And I said, yes. And so I did. And I ended up getting on. It was kind of crazy. But I'm actually not allowed to talk too much about the show because uh, CBC doesn't like us doing interviews on the show oh, about really? the show. Okay. So we're going to ask you some more questions. Is that, be- <laughs> is that because it yeah, hasn't... Right. It hasn't came out yet? Is that because of that? No, it's out. Yeah, it's okay. out. It's out right now. But if if you were to see the show, but you can't because you're in the States. But if you were to watch it, you'd see that I was already eliminated. Oh, <laughs> why? What a loser. Why'd you get eliminated? <laughs> right, right. It was hard. I That's what say. I thought. <laughs> yeah, what my I thought. team was the first to go, which sucked. Oh no! Oh, uh, you poor thing! Yeah. You had a great promo because yeah. we got to see the promos in I the did. states. That was I was like, wow, this is very good. It's a big yeah. deal. It was it was a cool experience, but we're still trying to get on the Amazing Race anyway. <laughs> Maybe we should apply for the American one. They they'll bring in some Canadian. <laughs> they'll bring in some Canadian. Yes. Players. How do they do that, Tanner? Tanner watches all these game shows. I do. I do love the game shows. One of my favorites recently is called Traders. Which, I love Traders. Yeah. Oh, that's. One of those that I think I'd be really good at. Is that? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I have time, so I couldn't tell you. You have to be, like, really deceptive for yeah. that. And I do have – I feel like I could do fairly well, too, because I just have a, you know, bitch face. I have a straight <laughs> face. It's, everybody would – So I think – I feel like I could lie to people's face and nobody yeah. would know, you know? <laughs> It just reminded me of the one TikTok I was showing Dave, and it was the one you had the too close eyes filter on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then right at the end, yeah, of the photo I was kicked by was your dad's dick, and it just cuts <laughs> off. <It's> like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. They've got my personality. Yeah. I love it. That's uh-huh. my humor. <laughs> oh, yeah, that guy, he lights up our comments, just how much he hates me, <laughs> that guy. <laughs> well, God bless him, though, because, like, that, those people, like, just drive your algorithm. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. Uh. And honestly, well, and people really like when we make those uh, – videos back or like the reply videos to them anyway so and they typically do fairly well so when stuff like that comes up i'm like all right (laughs) you know just ride with it yep absolutely play and do it how long ago did you start the sheep herd two years two years yeah two years ago what have you what have you learned about it what would you have done differently if you started over now um, ask think, for help sooner than, or don't wait as long. No, I feel like we asked for help, but don't wait as long to treat something. Yeah, we would put things off until it was, with sheep, you kind of have to, treat you know. sooner than later. Yeah, like not leave it for too long. And Kayla and I kind of love to procrastinate. So it'd be like, yeah, yeah, we'll do that tomorrow, whatever. And then we go out tomorrow and they'd be dead. So, so <laughs> we'd I, be like, well. Sheep like when, to die. When they got the tinfoil in your hair and they're making it red, she might just wait and procrastinate. Yeah. You're going to end up with green <laughs> yeah, hair. Right? Yeah. <laughs> So I, why, I why I, sheep, though? I why was, not goats or cattle or something else? Uh, so we thought about goats, but we, we heard that um, they get out all the time, yeah. and we didn't want to have to deal with that. And then I do have cattle with my husband. We have seven tolls. And uh, he wouldn't want us taking up more of his pasture <laughs> with cattle. And so we decided to do sheep. We both have small kids. Yeah, so it's just easier, like, when we do have to do deal with the sheep, they can be in the pen with us. 
Okay. Or if they do need something, they can come over to us and get it if yeah. they are outside. We so, just don't really have to be concerned about their safety while they're in with yeah. the sheep. So do like, you guys do... Any of our users, we're, they're very friendly. Yeah. We probably have too friendly of yeah. sheep. Do you do any so. show sheep? No. no. No, you know what? I don't know how much of a thing that is in Canada, but like... The more that we get into sheep TikTok, it seems to be like a sheep pretty white the thing. A it, thing it is in the well, state, and, hey? and all show cattle. We do show cattle. We have Semital as well, uh, and it, it's just a big hairdressing. It's it's a Barbie contest of who can do the hair better here and there, and make the backside yeah. look wider, etc. You guys be great at this, like show sheep. Experts. Well, because it's you, yeah, you get to manipulate well, their I mean, body proportions. Yeah. yeah, with their we did that in hair. 4H. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so but. I don't Maybe know. Maybe we need to. Maybe, Maybe that's where we'll make our money. Show sheep. <laughs> I don't know. So what, what's the plan? Are you selling sheep for meat? Are you selling the wool? Meat. Yeah, they're meat sheep. Yeah. We, so the wool, like Canadian wool doesn't sell great. Uh, we really wouldn't get any money for a wool. So we sent it off to a mill this year and that was, we didn't do that last year, but we did it this year and we might make a few things out of it and try to sell them. But even then, I we might end up breaking even on it. I'm not sure. So you it's, should make things and wear wear them, <laughs> and then sell them. Here we go. <laughs> Buy our wool. <laughs> you can we sell will it on create many merkins with that Some wool. wool. <laughs> I knitted this thong out of my wool. <laughs> That's not. What I, was, I was thinking like a glove or a like hat, a glove, right? A Velcro glove <laughs> <laughs> for the sheep farmers. That's hilarious. Yeah, no, so they're they're meat sheep. Uh, the breed that they are too, like they're uh, so we have Suffolk and then we have some Arcot and they're like fleece quality. I mean, it's 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 fine, but it's not. I'm yeah, down. yeah. So we just we um, so we're just selling them for me. I think we'll probably continue doing that. We don't want to get into the purebred scene or anything. You have to build relationships and make relationships with people and kind of. I, I guess I don't want to say be accountable to what you're selling, but kind of, right? Yeah. You know, people can come back and be like this and that, and we just we just don't want to have to make those connections. Hard to complain if they're dead, right? Yeah. Well, that, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, whereas if like we can just take our when our lambs are ready to go to market, we can take them to the auction mart, yep. and we never collect have to our talk check, to and then again. well, we just never have to think about it again. Yep. And uh, there's something really freeing in just being able to do that. So are that you keep saying they're our sheep are you guys are you guys partners on it or is yeah, yeah. just Split the short person yeah we're 50, okay. 50 awesome yeah so is that like oh sheep shit llc <laughs> or like <laughs> <laughs> do you have a name for it no no we've not i mean we have we have only like 30 right now right. i mean we're hoping to grow but uh right now we just we just don't even worry about it like we put everything under our farm but Profits are split fifty fifty. Do you share hey, them yourself? There's profits. That's good. Ah, uh, I wouldn't say that there is too. Yeah, like I should say very minimal profits. I'm like when she says profits, she means like the check that we the check that we, the check means, that we are get. Are we making the, the suck and toe video or yeah, not? <laughs> yeah? This is the difference between us making <laughs> money or losing money this year. Money. That's the same thing I tell get you guys. Get your toes out. <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah. Uh, do you share them yourself? No. You know what? We <laughs> that we've is, tried. It is very hard. That is backbreaking labor. And we just got uh, our shears out, and the man's from New Zealand, and his son is probably our age. Yeah, was shearing our ram. Our ram beat the living piss out of him. Hot <laughs> Carl? Is that Hot <laughs> like, Carl? Busted, busted his blade. Yeah, screwed up his back. Like he was, he had to pass that our ram off to his dad because. He fucked him up so bad. Yeah, and I couldn't imagine us no. <laughs> trying to do that. It was it was shocking. So I'm like, we yeah, we it, stick to humans. It would have Our been good content. Our name is Hot Carl, and it was just like embarrassing enough to be like, this is Hot Carl. Oh, this, this is, is Hot weird. Carl. Enjoy yourself, right? Dave, you know what a Hot Carl is? No. <laughs> you what? Come on. You have to oh give, it, give it a quick Google, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put it up on the screen. Oh God, Tanner's gonna do <laughs> yeah. it. Oh, Don't he, oh my gosh. Wait for it. Wait for Make it. Make sure you do it under images. <laughs> he forgot the <laughs> incognito window there. Oh boy. Oh wow. Uh, it's pretty clean. 
Uh huh. Uh huh. It's pretty clean. I must have a safe search filter on. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, there's it's, one. There's no Urban Dictionary. <laughs> Uh, he went to the images. He went to images. You told me to go right to oh, images. Oh, it's got it's got safe search. What safe the hell search. is that? Blur? Blur. Like, It'll blur out all the. Oh, jeez. All out. The, Here we go. It's, well, if you can tell, it's probably not very appropriate. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it's not very pro- appropriate. Uh, that's hilarious. All right, that's enough, Hot Carls. You done? Yeah. You done? We're with hot done. Carls? We're done. What are there any other good sheep names that you have? Uh, wiener tits. <laughs> she just wanted to cover both like sides. Her nipples are like four inches long. Her teeth are like four inches. Oh long. wow! Oh, that's a four, big inches. four inches. That's huge. Wow. Oh, oh, okay. Man. I'm sorry to break it to you. <laughs> that's but what the right. husband says. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. There's the six clip. inches. <laughs> there's the clip for YouTube. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wiener tits. Yeah, we weren't gonna let that one slide. Oh, There's gotta be more. We're, we're hair stylists, so I feel like we have like a pretty accurate. I would say of what like four like inches that. is. Yeah. So, so your clients go home and they're not like I told her to cut four inches off and look how much she took. <laughs> Eight inches and off. Was <laughs> <laughs> and there was ten. That's about as much as wiener tits as snipples. <laughs> <That's about laughs> right. Dragging on the ground. That's, about right. well, that's a unit of measurement for us now. <laughs> How many, how many yes? <laughs> Is there any other good ones? I just want to get them all out. Uh, I'm trying to think. No, Hawk Carl, Wiener Tits. Uh, we were going to do a Cleveland steamer, but <laughs> he died. Yeah, you, he should, died, so. you should put that yeah. out there for pay, was, and someone should, yes. and you can name after, our cheap, and we'll do after content After this with call, them. we're going to set you up with all kinds of revenue yeah. All opportunities. Kinds of names. Yeah. yeah, we had Gordon Ramsay also. Like, oh, before. yeah. That's good. Yeah, and then we had a Gordon Ramsay too because the first one died. <laughs> That's what I grew up with. Is it was either a live sheep or a dead sheep. There was no treating yeah. sheep. I yeah. was on the road yesterday and I saw a pot load, a, a semi, a semi full road. of sheep, and you don't see that very often. The wool was no. like sticking out the holes. Yeah. <laughs> Those are going because there's not a lot of sheep grown. So you guys take them to like uh, Olds auction market, or where do you take the sheep? Yeah, Olds does. Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> How do you know that? Good for you. Yeah, yeah. I've Dave, um, Dave you're freaking them out. I've auctioned in Olds Auction Market. If you go to the International Livestock Auction Your Championship up at the Stampede, Calgary. Yeah. Oh, really? You, know, you got to go to the pre-qualifier. Here, I thought you were just being creepy. No. Yeah, I, I was impressed. I was impressed, yeah, I was impressed too. That actually shocked me. You've <laughs> auctioned sheep yeah. before? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What is the sheep market like? Is it good? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, obviously, we're gonna say it could be a lot better, right? Yes. No. But in Alberta, it's not great. But in Ontario, yeah, if it's lots of people ship from Alberta, they ship it over into Ontario because their their prices are a lot better than what ours are. But I used to live south of Alberta in Haver, Montana, and we'd always go mm. up to we always say we're going to the Hat, well, Medicine Hat. Okay, and so we'd yeah. go up, we'd go up to the Hat and go to the go to the water slides in the Hat. Okay. Go to the slaughter, the slaughter slides? The water slides. <laughs> the water so, slides, yeah, the water slides. I don't know if they still have the water slides. I don't, I don't know, know if they do. Do yeah. you guys uh, consume your own sheep meat? Sheep? We're going to this year. Last Lamb. year we didn't uh, want to part with any to butcher because we had so few that we were sending off. But up. this year we are going to butcher our own. We're going to, you know, see, see if there are any adjustments that we have to make, I guess, right? But we'll... I'm, I'm curious, you know, like Kayla and I didn't grow up eating lamb, so it's it's just something that we're now trying as a, adults, yeah. but... I didn't yeah. grow up eating it either, but I have been infatuated the last few years with gyros, mm-hmm. gyros, gyros, however the hell you t- say it. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. But there is a big difference between the meat, whether... That, that's what makes it, obviously, but if you get a bad one, whew, it tastes like wool. You've been to old Pamel Grocery <laughs> yeah. over yeah. there? Yeah. Oh, don't even give that. Don't give that out on the air. That is the secret. That is I, the secret. I need that to not <laughs> be you need, out. Uh, it is so good. Sauce, oh my god! Yeah. And he makes it extra spicy. He does. Yes. Oh, it's he so used good. To own. Do you think in that meat though? I'm. I want to say, and I don't know for certain, but I want to say it's like a mixed meat in there. Like I want to say that they put different meats in with it. Really? And I, I could be completely wrong, but one time I googled what was in it, and there was like no actual for sure <laughs> i would say what, maybe what type of meat was in it right because i was like is this 
pork? Is this? Oh yeah, you know, they add pork. It might be beef and lamb or pork and lamb. Yeah. Pork and chicken sometimes, probably like a sausage, kind of. But I would say that the Pamels is probably yeah. pure. He's he's a pretty original. Well, he used dude. to own Stanhope Locker. Yeah. So he used to uh, yep. do all of the locker business himself. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Uh, I'm excited. We we like to play games with our oh boy. guests. And I'm excited for the two of you. And I don't want to overhype this or put any extra pressure on you. Uh, but sometimes we play some really crappy games. We're going to keep it simple today. We're going to play a Would You Rather. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, we We're, love Would You Rather. rather. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you made it dirty enough for him. <laughs> Tanner's the game guy here. Would you Did rather. Did you guys watch our Would You Rathers? Oh, uh, yeah. We... Yeah, we've had some Would You Rathers up. We could do it both, back, back and forth. We should. We should go back and forth. Right. I'll give you an easy one to start with. At least I think it's going to be an easy one. I don't know. You, your meth conversation earlier might change it. <laughs> uh, would you rather have two long front teeth like a beaver or no teeth at all? Mm, beaver teeth because you can file them down. Yeah. Well, but then if you had no teeth, you could just get dental implants because I have implants <laughs> in the front. So I just have all four implants. Is that from the meth? Yeah. Yeah, it makes me look like a meth head because I was missing those teeth. But or no, was I that the happen. horse that kicked you in the face? Yeah, it was, or the dick that kicked me in the face. Yes, <laughs> took him right out. <laughs> so what is it? We got two sets of beavers or one of each? No, I'm gonna say no teeth because I would just go and get some dental implants. I would go with, because I would get them filed down. But you don't know if you can file down, because is the root in the teeth long? Because they're not going to file, like, right into the root. He always goes so in-depth with but that's But that's, and she, like, makes me question everything but that that's I've what I'm thought saying, in Kayla, life. When you do would you rather, you have to actually weigh out the options here. I knew they'd be good like, at this. Isn't the beaver, like, the state bird or the state animal for Canada? <laughs> state bird. We it's on our money. Yeah, it's on our money. That's they're cool. actually a rodent. Like, they're really, they're pests. Yeah. They're yeah. bad. pests, yeah. You know, the husband might like no teeth, too, for a while. <laughs> <laughs> uh, especially right in the front. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the next one? Uh, Dave. <laughs> would, you, would, you rather be ride, uh, would you rather be a cowboy riding the bull or the clown distracting it? The clown. Uh, I, like. I don't know. That's hard. I always wanted to try doing that because hey, I felt no. like I would be really good at it. I say clown because I feel like, especially nowadays, all these clowns are a bunch of B words. They don't even <laughs> don't get, get in front of the bull. It's all the bullfighters that do all the work. The clowns. Well, the clown always has a mic on. Well, though, yeah, and they're like putting on like a show. Yeah, he's the talent, Kayla. Well, besides the bull rider, right? Yeah. Like we can't mess up the funny guy, the no. talent. But I, but I feel like yeah, yeah. She'd I'm not gonna less, get cramped. Less risky. Yeah, less I'm risky. gonna say that I'm gonna ride the bull because when I do it at the bar, I'm really good. <laughs> I was just gonna ask if you ever ridden the mechanical bull. It was the setup yeah. question. You yeah. ask another one, Tanner. I'm gonna come up with my own. You're man. gonna. What was mine? Are not good enough for you? No, I don't like them. <laughs> Okay, so this this one, after I wrote it out, I might have a, a second option. But would you rather it always makes a ding sound when you wink or a pow-pow noise when you make a finger pistol? Pow-pow. Mm. Oh, the wink. See, I, <laughs> ding. I, think, I, I ding. think I'm with Shannon, but uh, I thought it was I would like the bright white smile. And then when I smile, it goes ding yep. rather yeah. than the wink. Yeah, I don't know. I'd feel so cl- cool with finger guns walking around being like, <laughs> 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 All right, I got, I got a dirty one here. I, 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 I had to. I had to. Because I knew it was going to come back to us. Get scared. Would you rather uh, <laughs> have sex in front of your parents or your parents watch you have sex? That's well, my parents are divorced, so if they had sex in <laughs> front of me, What does that have to do with please? anything? Okay, I guess. Uh, uh, no, for sure I'd rather uh, <laughs> I'd rather watch them have sex, I think. Ooh. I agree. Yeah. That's a little yeah, weird. Yeah, it's, it's wild. I've never seen my parents together. It might be it might be nice to see them united. There we go. <laughs> it might be nice to see them united. I want to know your answer. I'm glad to see you guys are getting along. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I, I have a lovely stepmother that I love very much, <laughs> just in case my dad listens to this. <laughs> 
<laughs> I know. I was about to tell a story, and then I was like, yeah. <laughs> I would say I would oh, agree with you. Tell that story. I would agree with you. What was Dave? What's your answer? I don't know. Uh, Boy, you're really thinking about I this. I don't know. I I'd be fifty fifty. No. I, no, that's easy. I. Yeah. I, I'd rather. I'd rather be caught. No, no I'd I'd I don't want. No, I don't yeah. want to be. I would rather be caught. I'd rather be caught because then I'm getting some, and then I don't have to. <laughs> yeah, that's like. But. That's, I feel like that's such a man versus woman thing. It probably is. Yeah, yeah, because you guys are just like I'm. Just happy to be there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> like this is great. <laughs> it's been three weeks. You know, yes. like whatever. Like <laughs> right? it's your fault yeah. you walked in on me. <laughs> just yeah. Hey. I had somebody yeah. tell me well, the other day that they could not. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was that? It, it, I mean, to be fair, your guys' parts are buried. covered. Yeah, <laughs> like, ours are not. <laughs> your your parts are not exposed, right? Well, if you're yes. doing it, you're, well, yeah. yeah. Depends on where you get caught, I guess. I, <laughs> what? Yeah. How's that matter? I don't know. Like, if you're I'm, in bed, I mean, there might be covers there you cover up with I'm or whatever, but, like. Oh, that's right. That's true. If you're Every, getting extracurricular yeah. or something, you're Everybody's on the sheep barn. Everybody's seen everything anyway, it, whatever. But, so I have a friend. They said they will not, they were, he, he was complaining because uh, she wouldn't have sex anywhere if their kids were in the house. Like, what? Yeah. Really? I get that, though. Like, like if, they're, the if they're awake, like, I would never have sex while my kids are awake because I don't want to hear their voices while I'm doing that. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't want them to start fighting in the next room and I hear their voices. My husband has tried to romance me into doing that, and I'm just so horrified by the idea of it. I'm just like, I don't want to hear their little voices while you're doing <laughs> that to me. Pipe <laughs> down. Shut when up. You all go on vacation together, and you're in the same hotel room. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah, it it doesn't freaking happen. <laughs> it doesn't. So why? Kayla would. She, she, she would. She would has. or has? I'm like, I was, I was, you guys are all like, I don't know. I'm like, my child was conceived. Like, I had one child conceived, but we were in a, our closet. So I was like, well. Oh, what? <laughs> what? You were in the closet? One of our kids was sleeping in our bed. And. I was like, and you did it in your walking closet? It was a oh. animal. <laughs> animal. <laughs> At least it was a walk-in <laughs> closet. <laughs> I was I imagining. I was a holiday trailer with them one time. We were, like, camping. And she's just like, oh, yeah, Cody and I had sex last night. And I was like, <laughs> pardon me? <laughs> like, we are sleeping, pardon? like, eight feet away from you? <laughs> And you guys are doing that? I was so horrified. How, how did you? It must not have been good because you obviously didn't hear it. Right? <laughs> True. It was. It was awful. It was awful. It was awful. <laughs> I'll tell you, it was awful. It was a check the box situation. All right. <laughs> did, yeah. Done. Did I? Did, <laughs> I, did I do this r- review last time? Uh. No, no, but okay. I think we talked about it, but that's hilarious. So so we love to uh, thank our listeners. You know, they are the driving force behind all the fun we get to have. And the uh, yeah. excuse we get to have this cool and fun conversation with you that I had no idea was going that direction. Um, <laughs> this is probably the raciest show we, we'll be so, putting out. So we tell them all the time, as long as you leave five stars, you can write whatever you want to. Yeah. Because <laughs> awesome. five Great. stars Perfect. matter. So I'm using the guy's real, the full name that he put out there. Uh, it's only right. Derek Gray Danis. Grade anus. Grade anus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> said, uh, on Spotify, gave us our five-star review. He said, I would rather have my testicles repeatedly stomped on <laughs> than hear kids in an advertisement. <laughs> oh. He didn't spell repeatedly or hear correctly. Uh-uh. Oh. But uh, we, <laughs> in, we, uh, we involved one of, uh, both of my daughters. You involved your daughters. I involved Not both of my daughters on uh, one of our advertisements that, yeah. that runs post-roll. I thought it was cute. After the show. I thought it was cute. Just some, some small little places to interject. <laughs> and apparently yeah. Derek... Anus with, with a great anus. Yeah, doesn't like that. <laughs> Thank you for the five stars. Thank you for the five stars, Derek. Great anus. Uh, it was I mean, a five star review. Yeah, yeah, what yeah you do? it helps. I mean, it's a little bold. It is. That was 
It was. It was different. Obviously, it caught his attention. He listened to the ad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what was it an advertisement for? <laughs> uh, grain bin manufacturing company, Suka. Oh. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and it was good. It's not like they read the whole ad. ad. They were just uh, supporting. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, so. They I loved it, it because like, just like uh, she wants her finger pistols to make noise, we put in the yeah. bow, 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 <laughs> right after they <laughs> said, <laughs> yeah, it's farming season. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, so what do, your, what do your husbands think about your social media stardom? Yeah, both of them hate it. They hate it. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Oh, oh kind of. Yeah, like neither of them have it's really not, any social media. So neither of them have like any type of social media. And they also, it's not like, it's more so they think that, like they don't think we're funny because we're their wives. Yeah. Yeah, my husband definitely does not think I'm funny. <laughs> like there's once in a while they'll like giggle about something and be like, okay, that was all right. But otherwise they just are like, no. no. Even when I show Blair a video and we both have lines, He'll laugh at all of your lines <laughs> and then just be like straight faced at all of mine. Like I, and he has said to me before because I'm just like, oh yeah, this guy just asked me for like feet pics for like a hundred bucks, and he he's even when I post something like especially crazy, he goes, just remember that we have children. <laughs> like <laughs> please just remember that we have kids, and I'm like Blair, our kids are gonna know that. I'm See, like this. And I think yeah. we're, we're completely reversed, where we might be the wilder side of our relationships, yeah. and our wives are like, that was stupid. Yeah. That, that's, that's so not. So. I think it's just their job to just keep you grounded. I think. Well, so. keep you down. Knock you down a little bit. Knock you down yeah. some pegs. Right? Yeah. Blair wants me to stay humble, right? Like. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty humble. I've never been asked for feet pics, so. No? <laughs> no. The next time well, I do you that. Might be now. Well, you might now. Now you that we've talked about it, you guys are going to get some people in your DMs yeah. asking for feet pics. Yeah. Let's just Google feet pics, grab some, and send it and see if they'll pay you. No, they want you, uh, they want you to put your face in, like, the picture too. They're not. How? They're not trusting. Uh, how do you? How do you get that? Like, <laughs> I see why they like feet <laughs> pics now. Selfie <laughs> feet pics. You can't have any clothes spell on. They it out for you. Like you can tell which ones are real because they have like very specific requests for you. Like very specific requests and like a set dollar amount that they send to you. Yeah. We also get asked a lot, like um, a lot of men want us to be like really mean to them. Uh-huh. <laughs> like they'll send us money to be mean to them. And I always say that to my husband too. And he's just like, I no. Something's wrong. <laughs> yeah, Have you ever seen the just TikTok where the guy pulls up to the uh, prostitute and is like, hey, will you just agree with me? How much? And she's like 50 bucks and they're laying in bed. He's like, so I'm right, right? Yep, 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 you're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not mean to me, just agree with me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the next time the husband, one of the husbands is giving you guys crap, trying to knock you down, just be like, well, yeah, but could you, could you just hold the camera at this angle? Like, you know, yeah. <laughs> take this picture right? of my foot. Like, hey, I need to set the mirror I down I just here. got a pedicure it's gotta, done. It's got to have yeah. my face in it and my feet, so the mirror needs to go right yeah. here. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, some of the other comments, too, uh, like people, all, they want to party with you guys, too, right? Yeah. 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 They don't know that we're super boring. Like, we're not, yeah, we're not fun to party with. We like to go to bed. I need like a good hour of Netflix watching before I go to sleep. So even if we're out at a party or something, I'm like, it's 10 o'clock. Like I have to go home if I want to be sleeping by 1130. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like we're not, we're not overly fun to party with. We don't stay up late. We don't do a bunch of stuff. Both of us are moms. We have kids. Like, yeah, I don't know. but you had to be at one time. To get the, <laughs> the humor. You know what? I don't think Kayla yeah. ever was. Like, yeah. I go on, I don't drink a, t- a ton at all. And, but there's like once a year I get into the booze oh, and <laughs> like a year ago, I was at a family wedding, hadn't drank in probably a year. I got so intoxicated. I puked all down the hallway. Like I get loser drunk, blackout drunk, <laughs> puked in the sink. It's like, I am a puker and, uh, but you're just a puker. Like you're not, I'm like, I'm crazy. the one that's like shoving shots down people's throats. You're not I'm like flashing like, your vagine to strangers. No, that's you. <laughs> your vagine? <laughs> <Is> that <laughs> vagine. That's her. That's, yeah. But that's, that's, so so are you the chill to her Netflix? I am. Oh. I am the chill to your Yeah. Netflix. Whenever I do a real, like a reply video or something, I usually have to send it to Kayla. And, then and she, I have to give her like the okay or not to be like, Ew. yeah. Cause sometimes <laughs> she's just like, that was really f- 
mean or whatever. <laughs> like, no, that's really disgusting or whatever. Actually, but I do have to say the one that went super viral, Kayla was like, I think we should change some of this stuff. And I'm like, ah. no, I want it to be as Which it one? is. The one that you did, the very first one that popped off, Kayla wanted to change a bunch of the things so they weren't as crazy and they it just wouldn't have done as well. The we're, the we're Sheep Farmers one? Yeah. Yeah. We get asked to do those all the time. People, and I'm like, we can't think of any more nasty shit to say. Well, yeah. Like, what else can we say? Like, what else can we say? Yeah. We put it all into one. Was that your first TikTok or you had other ones going? We had other ones, but nothing yeah, we like crazy. Really, like, tried to do a whole lot of TikTok before that one, but I don't know. We don't get a lot of traction on Instagram. I think maybe our sense of humor is more TikTok and less Instagram. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, Instagram's filtered. Like they're, you know, it's American, whatever. They're they're really freaking filtered. And at TikTok, that's why America wants to shut it down. It's because they I, can't control it. I was just going to ask, what yeah, does Canada yeah. think of TikTok? If if what sorry? What, what does Canada think of TikTok? I don't I don't think that they I don't know I haven't really heard anything about it like I think well Canada's fine, I think huh? I think it's fine but like we have we do have a lot of like sent like well I don't know if that's on TikTok though yeah we can't like all of our news is censored so if you were to send me an article from the states we couldn't open it yeah we can't see the news we on can't social see media. any news on social media yeah that's they what block it that's so stupid. Isn't that not? It's actually, actually is really crazy. Really crazy. Yeah, we can't like, get any news. And, and even if it was like um, a friend of mine, uh, a, a boy went missing in her hometown, and she's in the states, and really? she tried to send me the news article, and it was it was like like could not open. So yeah. what's the work because we for can't that? have any like, type of yeah. For you that. can watch it on TV, and that's it. But could you, you can't get any of your news information. You could get a VPN. I think that happens you could just screen like record. Your you could screen record and then send a text or VPN yeah. or VPN. Yeah. 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 Huh. I don't Crazy. understand that, you know, trying you to control free the narrative. That's that. why. Free health care, yeah. <laughs> is it free? <laughs> is it? Is it? Our taxes go to it. Yeah. Um, but, like, and we also don't get paid for TikTok, which sucks. Or which sucks for any social media. Like, we don't get money if our stuff does well. Right. Which I would say, I mean, your your million ones, like maybe a couple hundred bucks, but like it ain't. Yeah. You're yeah. not. No YouTube. one is getting rich YouTube. unless, yeah, unless you're uh, Justin Daner, Daner Nunley. Yeah, you, you gotta know, have but, eight million followers. Yeah. 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 Type of deal. So, have you guys got asked? Not not dirty feet pics or anything like that. Have you guys asked been asked to like come to any shows or get paid to do anything, advertise anything like that? No, um, somebody in Texas actually just recently asked us if we wanted to go and work on their ranch for like a week and they raise giraffes and oh. zebras and they have like cabins. Yeah, and we're just like, that's kind of fucking cool. Is this <laughs> so like a hunting maybe, ranch? But other than that, not really. Like we just, I don't think our, I mean, our, we have a little bit of a following, but it's not crazy. No, but maybe. there's all kinds of new jokes for stripes and zebras and giraffes <laughs> and tall. And I was big. just thinking in the show, <laughs> what's that game? Is that a game show or just reality? Wife Swap or oh, whatever? Oh, yeah, it is Wife you Swap. You could do like yeah. Farm Swap like type of deal. Like, don't give away our Here's ideas. my giraffes and then you, someone else goes and does your sheep. Here's or my whatever. sheep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, could you imagine? They come back and all their animals are dead. Yeah. Well, I'd be so embarrassed sending them here. They'd be like, so you guys don't have a handling system, eh? No, we just wrestle them to the ground. Yeah. We have the Velcro the gloves, tubes. remember? <laughs> be horrified. <laughs> <laughs> so has it gotten to the point locally to where people talk about your online presence when you go to the grocery store or when you are got somebody sitting in the chair? Yeah, I went to Gary Allen not too long ago, and I had three different people come up to me and be like, oh my gosh, you're Oshi Pei, and my husband was just like, I want to hide. And like, <laughs> you know, he was horrified, but yeah, so we often get people, or I, set, I sold like a, a sheep squeeze the other day on Marketplace, and the person who came and picked it up knew who I was, so stuff like that is kind of fun. Kayla hates it. She gets embarrassed, like... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just like somebody, I feel like they, I'm like a circus clown and they like want me to like perform for them when yeah. they're like, oh, I know you from, and I'm like, that's nice. I'm uncomfortable and don't know yeah. what to say. No. <laughs> I love it. I'm like a little show pony. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what do you want signed? I'll sign anything. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> <laughs> 
That was you made that TikTok with Snark the other day. Yeah, he was using the grinder. Did you oh, see yeah. my comment? Uh. Uh-uh. I said he should have taken that and autographed the tailgate of your pickup with it. Oh, oh boy, yeah. have you been seeing those? That's the new autograph. Yeah, you yeah. see the girl's hair like two inches away from the uh. rotating grinder. She's got super long hair and she's signing uh. with the angle grinder. She's doing really good, but her hair is like yeah. swinging, and I'm just waiting for it to get caught. Yeah. And all the comments like you about died. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually saw that too on TikTok, and I was like. Hmm. Yeah. choice. We get a lot of people mad at us for not putting our hair up, too. <laughs> yeah. Even just with, like, doing chores, they, like, get mad yeah. that our hair is down. And I'm like, yeah, these girls aren't actually doing this because their hair would be up. And, and it's like, no, we're just okay with it smelling like shit all the time. Yeah. <laughs> what to tell you? Like, you, <laughs> you get a lot of crap, too, for your nose ring. Oh, I got so much shit for my nose ring. You know what's bullshit is she also had a nose ring. And nobody even noticed her nose ring. And then hers came out. And at this point, and it was so funny because before that, I was just like, I've had this nose ring for like 10 years. I'm kind of sick of it. I might take it out. Now I can never take it out. Now I have it's to keep in there it for in. The rest of her life. <laughs> yeah. I can't take it out when everybody's on my case about how ugly it is, right? Uh, no. Then you yeah, have to kind of take a stand and keep it in. Exactly. Yeah. You should take it out for one and just and let, let the comment section just fill up. Or put what that much better I look? I don't know. It's just like <laughs> such a small thing on my face that it surprises me that it enrages people so much, but they but they really hate it. Yeah. People <laughs> get very pissed passionate. off about the stupidest things. The stupidest yeah. things. So who runs the social channel? Like I messaged just oh sheep shit, but you guys both are you guys both on it? Yeah, I would say that I probably reply to a good majority of the comments. Kayla's Kayla's not I reply to comments. To comments, not sorry, the DMs. Like Kayla's uh, we share obviously like Instagram and this, and then we have a hair and makeup company and, uh, Kayla does not like to check messages. So, oh. and she's okay with seeing the notifications oh, on no. there and just ignoring them, but I can't see those no. and just ignore them. So I'll be like, well, I'm going to leave that one for Kayla or whatever. It seems like it's directed at her, but then it would be like a year and she probably just would not <laughs> even look at it. Yep. Have you guys gotten any new business at the uh, hair salon? Because people are like, ooh, I want to get my hair cut by Oh Sheep Shit. No, I don't take any new clients. And uh, Kayla hasn't done hair in a long time. But yeah, I have like three clients that I faithfully do. And yeah, it's in my house too. So I don't take anybody oh, okay. new. Yeah. She reminds me of the TV show House Hunters. I think that Kayla would be that. One of the contestants, she'd be like, I cut hair for three people, and my budget for a house is $1 million. Yeah. Like, you just got married. I plant yeah. flowers. So I'm we're 24 like years old. 2.4 million. We're like, looking. It's like, what the hell? What, uh, what are yeah, these people I, doing? I, uh, I agree to that. <laughs> because I watch that show, and I'm like, these fucking people, there's no way that they can afford these homes every time I watch it. And then it makes me feel like shit about myself, and I'm like, hey. <laughs> Yeah. So how old are you? That's how I feel when I watch Selling Sunset and everybody is in like mansions. Yeah. I'm like, I have to stop watching this because. I just watch that and I'm like, how do you clean that? (laughs) I guess. Well, they don't. I think if you have a house that big, you just have like a plan for it. Just like a plane, you just plan for the pilot. I guess. I suppose. Yeah. Somebody sent us a 1.2 million dollar boat. Yeah. And I'm like, I'd rather have a plane. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. We do need a plane. I'd like to have a plane as well. We could get <laughs> a plane that is a boat. Did you see? Did you see the water? RV that is a boat? Did you send that to me? Uh, no. Somebody sent it's a it's a motorhome, motor coach, yep. and it just drives into the lake. It's like those ducks. It yep. was really yep. Branson. Mm-hmm. It's a floating house. That's pretty sick. Yeah. Wisconsin Dallas too. They have them there. That's yeah, cool. they do. Yeah. So you guys have kids? You said. Yeah. 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 We both have kids. I have two kids. I have three. Yeah. Ages from like. <laughs> like, well, we're like you're like four to ten. <laughs> yeah, I have a yeah four and a six year old. Yeah, I got eight and four. What do you got, Tanner? Tanner, I'm ten and eight now. Dave's a little older. Yeah, you're fourteen ten. and nine. Yeah, fourteen and nine. Yeah. So, question for you: What do your older kids think of your social media? Do they have social media? Do your kids? My what kids, do they think of it? My, my kids well, their do. social media is clean. Yeah, yeah, it's mine's not too bad, but I do give, give a rant every now and then and whatnot. A bunch of my kids' friends have friended me on Instagram and friended me on um, uh, TikTok, and they're like, hey, your dad's the TikTok guy, uh, on some of it anyway, but 
I, they're they're fine with it. But I've I originally like when I joined TikTok, I didn't have the same. I didn't want anybody knowing me because I want to post whatever I wanted and wherever I said. And yeah. then now it's like, well, everybody recognized you, so now it's like, all right, well, here's my name. It's on it. And uh, but even we went to career day at my kid's school, and a bunch of his friends are like, oh, you must be Colton's dad. You're Colton's dad. You're you know, and they they knew right away. The younger kid, he wants to make TikTok, so he always wants to go out there and figure it out but we haven't let him on tiktok yet so. colton friended yeah. me on instagram yeah because he wanted to message me is brock purdy really coming on the podcast yeah, he <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's adamant about that and he started his yeah. own they just uh, started a him and his friends started a uh, instagram page called craven baits and he's like We're, we make fishing lures so oh fi- wow. i was like lures. what so, <laughs> and i don't know where they came up with the name but he wanted to make uh, graphics for it so i got an ai and i made him that and he was all frustrated because he's supposed to be the graphics guy for all of his friends that are that are making this instagram page so he's monitoring it he's like dad we have 16 followers they I'm missed like, on that <laughs> <name>. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So they yes. missed on that name terribly. Yeah. Should have been masturbator. The... Yep. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> We're not there yet. We're not quite there yet. I'm a. Uh, I still. It's have coming. This... <laughs> <laughs> and the show just got canceled. <laughs> 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 I don't know how I'm going to make the choice on that, that part. You that might need to edit this one. <laughs> uh, my kids still think this is super cool. They don't have social media, but every time we come to the studio, they want, I pretty much have their voices for every ad script that we have because they always want to come and they want to record something and they want to do yeah. something um, as far as that goes. But my nieces and nephews are older and my niece admitted to me the other day, I'm like, man, you like a lot of our stuff. And she goes, yeah, I just like it. Scroll. Oh. So she sees our stuff. And you're just, like, you have to watch it all the way through. Yeah, like, I, I appreciate the like, well, but can you watch it? She goes, well, how long are they? I'm like, oh, oh, you've really never watched anything. I, I have a niece out in Montana that we went out there a year ago or something, and she's and her friends were like, is that your uncle? Yeah. And then my my niece is like, yeah, he's got like 30,000 followers on TikTok. And they're like, no way. I only have like 50. And they're like, how does he have 30? You know? And so they all think it's a big deal when we're – we get to interview people that have 8 million. So uh, 30,000 doesn't seem like a whole lot. So, Mm -hmm. but in their world, they're like, how in the world? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what's the the one, the one day though, actually the we're sheep farmers one, there was a kid that went, it was in my kid's class and was like, is that Jake's mom? That's Jake's mom. And like, he was like commenting a bunch and like, I was like, Oh, my goodness, I am saying I smoke crystal meth and do all these outlandish things and he's going to go to school and tell his teachers <laughs> that Jake smoke, smokes crystal meth. And then we I, we just blocked him. So yeah. I was just like, blocked. I can't handle this. <laughs> <laughs> My son doesn't have social media yet, though, so I don't have to deal with that. But yeah. I was like, this is interesting. We just got my daughter one of those gizmo watches. Mm-hmm. Eight years old. Really, really weird getting a text or a video call from your daughter. It's handy. Yeah. Like if, if my handy. wife doesn't respond, I text my daughter. <laughs> it say, is handy, but it's tell weird. Your mom. Yeah. It's I weird. just had this conversation with my kids yesterday. They don't. They answer the phone, but they never say hello. They answer it. You can see they picked up, but they never say hello. Why? Like, you guys have to learn to say hello to know that someone is there. And uh, so they just answer and they, just sit there and wait for you to talk. Because all of their friends, they they know their friends calling and they just put it on like video and then they play games together while they're while they're on the video. Yeah. But they they're just trying to be with each other. But they don't really talk to each other. So they're so yeah. used to being on the phone to be with you, but they're not talking to you. So when we call yeah. them, they're just like, I'm here. What, what do you want? <laughs> yeah, and they're not saying anything. Yep. Yeah, I feel like that probably goes towards, like, kids watching their parents just, like, texting now and stuff. And whereas when we were growing up, like, we were watching, watching our parents yep. lift up the phone, hello, right? But they're not... They're not seeing that as much. They don't even know how to act on the phone, right? We we have a payphone in Slater, Iowa. Uh, or sorry, Kelly. Kelly. Yep. And so we drove our kids to there so they could actually hear what a dial tone sounds like. And it works. Like. And it works. Yeah. And so they picked it up and we had to make a call. And they're like, well, how do we, where's the send button? Well, there isn't a send yeah. button, you know? So <laughs> we like, all right, education day. This yeah. is a phone. How do I say yeah. laugh out loud? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that's absolutely nuts. I don't know. These kids are coming up in a crazy world. I'm a little, I'm a little worried, but. Are you worried? I feel like, you know what, every generation says that about the next right. generation. And yeah. 
So far, it's been okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's been Is okay. it really Kayla okay? Says that, Kayla says that all the time, too. She's just like, and my husband, too. Like, these kids are so screwed. And I'm like, I feel like our parents said that about us, yeah. too, right? Yeah, and now and, you're and making the always... TikToks that you make. <laughs> yeah, right? Like... <laughs> When when your parents when you were watching your parents talk on the phone yeah. and listening to them did they say mm bye mm bye mm-hmm. like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, my dad know. still does like, yeah. like no it's bye it's just bye no, it's not, but it's always mm bye <laughs> like what the hell I thought you <laughs> I, I don't think so I thought you were asking Shannon and you were going back to asking when she was watching Kayla's parents oh boy no no that's no, right no. I didn't know you were talking about the phone the phone that, that, that was mm bop back in the day mm <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> bop let's come back to the thing that you said before <laughs> yeah bring this whole thing full circle so what's the future what do you guys want to have happen here. With what you've built. Amazing race. They want to get an amazing race. Honestly, honestly, that's like one of our big things. We We, want to be an amazing race. Yeah. Like we, the reason we kind of started our social media and started trying to kind of get it to blow up was, uh, amazing race. Like we were just like, what can we do to, yeah, they're going to want us to be on their, their show. Yeah. We have a a big following. So we're farm amazing. We can't really help you. Right. Because they're not going to, pick up an american podcast is that the issue oh we will send we will be sending it to those producers right <laughs> no i'm friends with the producers now so i feel like i just need to uh harass them a little bit more but i think that yeah so but for the farm we do we do hope to grow we do hope to get many more sheep and figure it out we need to kind of invest in some more land maybe which is kind of getting a little bit crazy but and uh yeah no i I feel like we kind of hope that we can get up to like a couple hundred, but, and then maybe call it a day there. That's a lot of sheep. Cool. That's a lot of sheep. It is a lot of sheep. Yeah. Do you guys have land? Well, we have sheep barns out here and they have, you know, like a thousand or something. We're just like, man, that's so much. So what do you do with all the sheep shit? Do you got land to spread it on? Yeah. Yeah, Well, yes. For now, it's just in a big pile the there, but I'm sure I'm, my husband pile. will use it I'm sure on our on our hay field there you go so do you guys have any row crops are you canola farmers as well uh we don't know we just don't have the equipment but we have uh my husband would love to be like a full-time farmer that's but he's in the oil patch but we just we just have you know our hay and our cows and our sheep and that's that's our about chickens. all we do and our chickens yeah mm-hmm. we have a Kayla and I went crazy. We bought a bunch of chickens this year, and now we're just up to our eyes and fucking chickens. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Killing chickens left, right, and center. <laughs> Are they layers or broilers? We both. both. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got to go we, all in. If we can't do things without each other, so yeah, we, yeah. We get, I I get Kayla all like pumped up about like these ideas that I have, and she just kind of falls right into them. And then now we have all of I don't know. So we, we did, we're doing broilers for the first time this year and we've, we've never done them before and they're gross and they're dying and we like our layers, like, you know, but our broilers are, I'd never do it again. Yeah. Yeah. We have them in the horse trailer right now. (laughs) Kicked them out of the garage. Yeah. Oh yeah. They are nasty. Is Shannon a bad influence when you guys go out to the bar too then? Like if you just follow, is she the instigator? No. She only drinks once a year. I've calmed down a lot. You know, Kayla has actually got me in my, my adult phase in life. Her sister probably would tell you different because she yeah. got me in my bar star phase. But <laughs> my bar star. <laughs> but I, I, you know, I'm a little bit calmer now. <laughs> Try not to get up to do I'm trying girl. not to get in the adult phase, period. <laughs> Like yeah. my <laughs> wife, he's like, you don't have to act like you're 20. I said, well, I'm not, I'm acting like I'm 40, but I'm not going to be that guy. That That's old, why you still like, got the spiked hair. You don't have to buy that. old guy <laughs> shoes yeah. like you did to mow the lawn. Yeah. Like never. That's not my thing. It's not going to happen. Do you know how comfortable those shoes are though? I'm not wearing it. It's <laughs> not the image, man. It's, it's <laughs> not my problem though. Like what, between my husband and I, one of us has to be a little bit of an adult. Like, I mean, I will say he's more responsible with money and whatnot, but he, my husband likes to live it up. He likes to go out he likes to party he wants to be somewhere until two in the morning somebody has to come home and let the babysitter go home and it's gonna be me (laughs) yeah so what one of us you know has to be an adult and it's definitely not gonna be my husband he likes to live it up i want to party with your husband 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah like that. That. <laughs> we gotta, <laughs> we gotta you know get y'all to Iowa. All he wants to talk about are his cows and farming. And <laughs> we need to get him on. My goodness, get we him should. And my wife well, together, they'd be. you know, when I originally started talking to them, I was like, "Are you?" Because it's always better in person. We're virtual right now, obviously. Yeah. And I was like, "Are you guys going to any farm shows in the states or anything?" And they're like, "Oh, my husband would love to go." And it's like that would be. Oh, cool. my husband would love to. Yeah. Actually, Did, because after that conversation, I said, "Well, they." said this or whatever and Blair's just like well if they go to a farm show and they want you guys to go we should go to that yeah. <laughs> and like right away like, 100% yeah and he, I was just like well let's just chill out Settle Blair back. <laughs> I'm pretty sure what you told me is when you asked them they didn't know if they could come on because their husbands didn't know who we were no they did oh, not say no. that they did not say that they said they wanted to go to a farm show oh I was yeah <laughs> we've had, we've had a handful our husbands don't know what we do and when we do they're yeah, they're definitely not those yeah. types of no, they don't care. Shit, yeah. Well, Half we need to come I don't to even know where my husband is. We do. We we have the stampede. We've had a lot of of Canadian. Oh, guests. you guys should go to the stampede. The stampede is a good time, and we definitely think that we're going to go to the stampede this year. Have you guys ever been yeah. to the Agribition? Western no. Western Canadian over in Regina. No. no. That's a fun time too. Your show sheep will be over. Okay. Yeah. We honestly, I said to Kayla once, I was just like, we should go to like a sheep show or <laughs> whatever. Yeah, yeah. we we sleepy. do have a couple guys in our DMs that show sheep, and they always are trying to get us to go to their their stuff. And this uh, with me. Yeah, we just haven't pulled the trigger yet. I'm thinking of going to the Stampede this year. I compete in an auction contest up what there. What day? You can't be gone oh. the, the first part of the Stampede. We're, I, we'll be with John Deere. Can't be gone the 6th or 7th. Know. I've been trying to plan it. So, so then the next I mean, week, the Stampede. You the could go up there, and they could come down here. I think it's the 12th. Hold on. Let me look at my calendar. i got to get my dang passport if I'm going to go to Oh, ooh, I just Canada. got an up- updated one. Tell you You're going to run out. Yeah. Nah, I'm pretty sure they just let anybody come to Canada. Uh, <laughs> they do, but every time I go there, they have you fill out a customs form, and it says, are you going to be visiting any farms? And every time I go, yes. Yeah. And it's like, well, have, do, you, are, do you come from a farm in the States? Yes. And they're all worried about, like, transferring stuff, but yeah. I, I always answer you just, yes. You just got to hit no. Yeah, yeah. you just, just got to hit no, no on it <laughs> yeah. every time, I guess. You just got to check no on that. Do you have meth? No. <laughs> do you have... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. Bird flu? No. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, well, this has been a lot of fun. Hopefully, you guys think it was yeah. fun. At least we yeah, had, we had a lot of fun. Ten through the fourteenth. Uh huh. And I know it, we will cross paths again here in the future, so I'm excited about that. Yeah. It is. Do you guys wear cowboy hats at the Stampede? Yeah. So I mean, we, fun yeah, fact, guys: you, if you ever go to the Stampede, it. most cowboy hats you've ever seen ever. And so yeah. normally when I'm going auctioneering, I have a cowboy hat on. And we're the people that, like, stand out. That's the one time we didn't stand out. You stand out if you're not wearing a hat. Ah. So they have hatting ceremonies, like, this is the correct way to wear it. And this is forward. This is back, et cetera. Uh, these boys got cowboy hats here uh, yeah. last year. But that's they, summer, so we can't wear the felt. We can't, can't well, wear yeah, I can't wear felt. Now we need some straws. But, yep. you know, so anyways, we get uh, uh, to the stampede, and every girl is wearing the shortest shorts you've ever had. Like, there's something in the water in Canada. It's, like, 40 degrees out, and everybody's like, man, it's summer. This is fantastic. <laughs> yeah. No, and then you get burnt, like, sitting in the stands and stuff. Well, yeah. Except part of your leg hasn't seen the sun ever? Oh, well, ever. absolutely, yeah. You just have fake tan on. <laughs> it's, what do they call it? Largest outdoor show in the world? Yeah, yeah I don't know. I've never paid attention. Insane. But, yeah, it is. And they always have concerts going on. Like, it's just a really, really good time. The greatest. The greatest talk. outdoor yeah. show on earth is what it says. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, it's it's a lot of fun. Sometimes we have like you know a few people we know competing and stuff. So yeah. and they don't have uh, bloody marys because they use is it clam? Oh, clam. Yeah, yeah. Caesar. 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 I, I don't. We might get in a fight here, but Caesars are much better than Caesars. Are horrible. Yeah. <laughs> they're so bad. <laughs> no, they're so good. <laughs> And when I had a Bloody Mary for the first time, I was horrified. Oh, mercy. I was, it was, it, I had one and it was, yes, just, it was disgusting. Like, oh. Gross. Yeah, you got to have a Caesar. I what didn't you like about it? I'm just, well, I wasn't a Bloody Mary fan Dave, either. But Dave wants it's it just to a red taste, beer, right? Yeah. Dave wants it to taste like lemonade or fruit oh, juice. Lots of sugar. Oh. Like margarita. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I get that. No, Caesars are like pretty salty. They're like a little appetizer. 
Yes. I always say if you're full, you can't drink a Caesar. Like you just have to have it. And then we get all crazy with our Caesars too, because you can order them at a restaurant. They'll have like little burgers on them and like pepperoni <laughs> sticks and all kinds of shit. That's a Bloody Mary. Them, right? Yeah, that's yeah. a Bloody Mary. Yeah. <laughs> and do you guys, when I went to Canada the last time, you couldn't pump your own gas. Do you pump your own fuel? Yeah, we can, but there is like self, or there's full serve stations. Yeah, right. there's full serve and then there's self-serve. So we're self-serve. driving around, I'm like, well, get on pump gas. Nope, 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 they got to do it. The attendant's got to do it. Do you have to tip them? Where did you no. go? I, I went all the way across from uh, Saskatchewan all the way across to BC. So, oh, and I'll, you never pumped your own gas? No, I have to pump my own gas all the time, unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> um, yeah, I tip them. You don't tip them? Kayla, no. I don't think I never have cash. <laughs> no. <laughs> I throw them, especially if it's like a teenager. I'm just like, here, have three bucks or something. Maybe before yeah. I bought sheep and I wasn't Especially poor. if it's the winter. <laughs> like, it's like minus 30 and these teenagers are out there pumping your gas. I'm going to give them like five bucks for that. Is this so much you just, you just made $100 like a selling feet picks. Give a couple <laughs> bucks. No, well, that's right. They get my feet picks money. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the cash. Uh-huh. So you, you ever get in fights with uh, French Canadian country? Go farther to the. Yeah, I mean, there's there's been stuff, right? But I don't know. I because I've been to Montreal. Ugh, I just choked on my own spit. <laughs> I've been to Montreal and Quebec City, and I loved it. Like it was great. But I. Um, yeah, there's been there's been some stuff, but you know what? Tons of people hate Alberta too. So I was gonna say Alberta's a Alberta's kind of the province that a lot of a lot of the country hates. So, huh? I knew there was a divide there somewhere, but I didn't know where. <laughs> yeah, no, it's. I would say there's a divide. There's like Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba are. Yeah, we're all kind of buddies, and then everyone else hates them. Or hates yeah, like those but things. especially Alberta because we got oil and gas. <laughs> oil and gas, yeah. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Well, ladies, thank you so much okay, for your you. time. Listeners, we thank you for your time. I'm going to say we wrap this up with the promise that we get to meet in the future. Whether yeah, we, yeah. Whether we come that. up or you come down, either way, I yep. think it would be great. Yep. Got to have yep, your husbands with that. so we can interview them about farming. Yep. That's right. Yep. <laughs> right? Give you That's all right. the information you ever need yes. <laughs> to run a successful operation. Yep. <laughs> That's exactly right. Well, good. Corey, what do you tell the listeners? Crack a bush light. You deserve it.